This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 25th of April, almost wrapping up the month of April. We're looking at the Dow down 30 at 33,846. Very interesting because we've had so many tiny little candles took off to these huge big candles, big move up. We've stalled. Now, is this distribution? We'll talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments' time. Um, and we're also looking at these. Uh, this is now one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seventh session so far, a tiny candle. We're looking at the S&P, the same sort of thing. Uh, the S&P, and I haven't been able to put a down arrow yet because they're all way above the nine-period moving average. Now the S&P is actually sitting on the 14-period moving average, a little bit weaker. It's down 18 at 41.17, down 0.46 percent. The Dow's down only minus 0.04. You're looking at the QQQ also. Um, down 0.49%, uh, down $1.55 at 314.37, still within the rectangle, making this arch formation. We'll talk about that as well. IWM, Russell 2000, small caps dropped quite sharply. Now it's underneath the key moving averages. Now this is going to be what we're watching very closely because gold is still holding in the, in the uh, narrow range that it's been in. Uh, it's down just three points in 1996. And within that context, the nine period moving average has finally turned down, but the price is still holding uh, in the uh, 2000, um, 1996 area. So if at any point a gold starts to site under 1973, going to the 1960s, that says, OK, it's making an arch formation. It should go low. The dollar's really not taking any of this as comfort. It is moving up a little bit. It's up 25 ticks at 101.61. If it starts to trade in the 102.60 area in the, in the next week, then there's going to be a big change, but there isn't yet. And bonds, uh, bonds are up sharply. That means yields are coming down. Bonds up one and a half points at 132. 90, 30 seconds going towards where? The 200 period moving average friend that it's been touching up and down for ages. And we're looking at crude oil. We're looking at crude oil being uh, down again, uh, down $1.53 at 17.23 away from the 200 period moving average. So a lot to talk about as soon as I get back from my uh, Tiger Technicians Hour. And don't forget, a week from tomorrow, I'm doing my webinar for subscribers. This is going to be a really important one because there are so many stocks that we are looking at as potential buyers over the next six weeks. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope you can stay. Great programming here all day.